certainly a lot of pressure just in my mind and in my head, but I didn't want that to get to me. Did it go as you visualized it? Um, yeah, pretty similar. I went in right in second place when I got the front. I was pleased with that result. Well, at the beginning of the season, you made a statement saying that you want people to know that 800 got to go for you, given the two third place finishes to win today. How proud are you uh, in your journey and the fact that you backed up your stick? Yeah, it's always, always pleased to talk to talk and walk to walk. And I feel like the way I ran my race, I ran it from the front, I ran it relatively smart, and I controlled what I was doing. So, you know, it's pleased to be able to do it, and it's pleased to be able to do it well. So I'm thankful I called that. And, you know, I was tired when I finished, so I'm thankful I ran my hardest too. It's good. Can you talk about running at Hayward Field? Yeah, it's um, feeling you get. It's nice when I get to warm up with my facilities. I get all work, all the coaches, all the staff, and you know, I have everyone that's here for me. So it really, like, it just feels like home. That's what it is. So it's, it's fun. Elijah, you came into Oregon on the heels of that great OA final, yeah. you know. How inspiring was that moment as you came into Oregon and, you know, now you're sort of like part of that big Oregon story, you know, with the 800 meters. Yeah, I mean, it made me excited to be a duck, it made me excited to come here. Just, I just knew how good these guys were and, um, you know, what a legacy I was going in. So it's a lot of joy. Well, I just sorry if you already answered this. I came in late, but uh, what are your plans for... Uh, well, I mean, obviously you have USA's coming for the summer, but what, what do you want to do there? What's the goal? You know, I want to make the USA team. That's going to be tough, but um, so far I've been the top collegiate, so I feel like if I give it my best, I have a shot. We'll, we'll see. What do you think you need to do to compete against guys like, you know, Dwayne, uh, Nick Simmons, all those guys? You know, I need to be in 144 shape, definitely. So, you know, it's got to get in that position. it got to be tough. All right, well, good luck.